Aichi is Japan's core prefecture for manufacturing. The shipment value of its manufactured products has topped the national list for the last 30 years. In fact, more than 90% of Japan's trade surplus is derived from the prefecture. Export products backed by the finest technology are a lifeline for a country with limited resources. And it is people with a powerful imagination and ability to take action who help to make that possible. Based in such a rich manufacturing community, Nagoya University has fostered outstanding human resources and produced world-class academic results. Nagoya University's mission is to contribute to the well-being and happiness of mankind through research and education in all aspects of human beings, society and nature. We will strive to pursue innovative paths as a world-leading comprehensive university at the core of Japanese intellectual pursuits and a global research centre. The Nobel Prizes are the most prestigious awards given to those who have made significant contributions to the world's academic development. Out of the seven 21st century Japanese Nobel laureates, no fewer than four have either studied or worked at Nagoya University. The university was also the field of action for Dr. Akasaki, the first scientist in the world to succeed in producing blue LEDs. Why are so many of the world's outstanding research projects based at Nagoya University? And why does so much free thinking and creative research emerge from it? The answer is surely the free and vibrant academic culture that has prevailed at the university ever since its establishment. The 大きな問題で、しかもそれが こういう Nagoya University is located in the Tokai region, which has long functioned as a key junction linking eastern and western Japan. Yoshinao Tokugawa the first lord of the Owari Tokugawa family had a profound knowledge of arts and sciences. He founded the sacred edifice, a hall of learning, and concentrated his efforts on the promotion of education. The sacred edifice produced many outstanding people as it underwent many changes. One of them was Keisuke Ito, a scholar of Western learning in the mid-19th century. He introduced the Linnaean plant classification system to Japan and promoted smallpox vaccinations. The efforts of many such talented figures resulted in the establishment of a hospital and school with the aim of creating a modern Western-style school for developing human resources. That was the origin of what is today Nagoya University. Later, it developed into Aichi Prefectural Medical College. In 1939, Nagoya Imperial University was established. It consisted of two schools, the School of Medicine and the School of Science and Engineering. Dr. Motoji Shibusawa, the first president of the university is reported to have said this at the entrance ceremony. Education is not something to cram into people from the outside, but rather a source of inspiration. Universities in particular should focus on that concept. The university's freewheeling spirit flowered precisely because it was the last imperial university. There was an atmosphere that encouraged everyone to seek together what form new types of education and the university should take. 
Nagoya University was established in 1949 under a new system comprising six schools. The facilities have been expanded and improved ever since with the active support of the university faculty and staff members and the private sector. This has led to excellent research results and many graduates who have become prominent Japanese leaders. Nagoya University today has nine undergraduate schools, 13 graduate schools, research institutes and centers conducting national projects or academic industrial collaborative research, and many other facilities. The cultivation of courageous intellectuals is the basic pedagogical philosophy of Nagoya University, as it carries out its original research in pursuit of the truth. In the four-year integrated education system, the combined general and specialized curriculum spreads over four years in order to offer a unique systematic education that conforms with the philosophy and educational targets of each school. As the organization responsible for the university's liberal education, the Institute of Liberal Arts and Sciences has been playing a vital role in providing the basis required for university study and the knowledge and education required by full-fledged members of society. The liberal arts and sciences provided in the first year of enrollment offer a wide variety of education and basic knowledge, as well as providing students with the chance to meet many students from other faculties. There is a strong focus on English language teaching. The university carries out painstaking guidance so that students can acquire practical English skills. The first year seminar involving small study groups provides many curricula that serve as an introduction to university education and support independent study. We'd now like to introduce the schools and graduate schools at Nagoya University that are the core of intelligence. What kind of thinking do we do? What kind of opinions do we have? What kind of history has led us to our present condition? The School of Letters explores human nature. The area covered by the school is not limited to literature, but also includes sensitivity and behavior as found in the study of philosophy, history, and psychology. The aim is to help solve today's issues through the eyes of humans and suggest paths for the future. The School of Education provides studies on human development and education from the perspectives of pedagogy, sociology, psychology and psychiatry. Besides pure academic studies, social issues connected to the power of education, such as social withdrawal and internet addiction, are also included in the curriculum. The School of Education fosters human resources who can help support human growth and development by fully bringing out their sense of creativity. Contemporary society is growing increasingly diverse and complex. In order to help solve various problems, the ability to make reasonable judgments from a broader standpoint is essential. The aim of the School of Law is to forge minds capable of making such comprehensive decisions. It also focuses on training world-class human resources through internships that allow students to find out how the law and politics operate in practice. Many of our former graduates are actively engaged in a variety of fields, such as the judiciary and journalism. The study of economics involves the analysis of society and its organizations in order to clarify the mechanisms of its structure and how they change. It also covers major issues of mankind, such as civil conflicts, poverty, and environmental destruction. Understanding economic mechanisms is essential in order to build a better society. The School of Economics provides programs in which students can learn the basic elements of every aspect of the broad field of economics and foster a self-motivated, exploratory attitude through seminars. The School of Informatics and Sciences offers classes in a wide variety of special fields regardless of the framework of the arts and sciences. The goal of the school is to train people to apply systematic thinking utilizing a multifaceted approach based on broad knowledge to tackle and solve emerging issues. The school provides opportunities for students to develop their creativity and discover how their personal aptitude can contribute to society. Human knowledge of natural phenomena is based on the broad and magnificent system of science, including the universe, the root of all matter and life. 
The study of science encourages the development of applied science and supports contemporary society. The School of Science aims to foster people who will be able to contribute effectively to developments in natural science. The intellectual curiosity of students is sure to be satisfied by the broad spectrum of departments and faculty members at the top international level. The Nagoya University School of Medicine is one of the oldest medical schools in Japan. It is continuously undergoing renovation as a base for the medical science and medical services required in the 21st century. The Department of Medicine fosters medical researchers and professionals full of creativity and originality who have humanity and can think logically in scientific terms. The undergraduate education also focuses on fostering a global way of thinking. The Department of Health Sciences, with well-equipped facilities and excellent faculty members, aims to train medical professionals in clinical practice and to foster educators and researchers. The School of Medicine is making every effort to foster the professionals who will be responsible for providing tomorrow's medical services and medical science in the fields of both basic research and clinical research, and aiming to improve global medical care standards by developing cutting-edge medical research and creating new medical technologies. The world faces all kinds of problems today. In order to solve such issues for the benefit and development of today's society, the creation of innovative science and technology is essential. Blue LEDs were created at this School of Engineering. During the nine years since it was commercialized, it has brought employment to more than 30,000 people, showing how the school's achievements can have a direct influence on the strength of the national economy. The School of Engineering aims to emphasize basic academic skills in order to nurture engineers and researchers who can apply their techniques through invention and improvements to create pioneering science and technologies for the future. The School of Agricultural Sciences contributes to the solving of current food, environmental and health issues and to the development of mankind in harmony with the global environment. The curriculum includes the whole field of ecosystems. By observing life phenomena through the mechanisms of protein and at the genetic level, clues regarding ways to help solve many issues can be investigated. Besides hands-on study of agricultural problems in the field, Construction of a network with developing countries that face many food and environmental issues is expanding. The graduate schools are designed to promote further study in special areas. There are eight graduate schools in line with each of the undergraduate schools, plus five independent graduate schools which aim to develop their own special research field and carry out advanced research and studies. The Graduate School of International Development the Graduate School of Mathematics, the Graduate School of Languages and Cultures, the Graduate School of Environmental Studies, and the Graduate School of Information Science. Education and research. Besides fostering excellent human resources, Nagoya University sees providing intellectual assets as its responsibility. One of the definite forms taken is research institutes carrying out collaborative research with other universities all over Japan. Researchers throughout the world are paying attention to this creative approach. In addition, the Institute for Advanced Research promotes highly creative research in all academic disciplines, recognizing its value in providing intellectual assets for the future. With a total of 31 projects so far completed, Nagoya University can proudly demonstrate its academic research results to the world. This is a research base committed to the Global Center of Excellence program, supported by the Japanese government, that provides funding support to excellent university projects. The aims are to establish education and research centers that perform at the apex of global excellence and to foster young researchers who will go on to become world leaders in their respective fields. Many Nagoya University projects have been selected. 50% of the doctoral researchers employed at the base are foreigners. Nagoya University has been a moving spirit of the program and many excellent young researchers from abroad come to Nagoya to join the projects. <laughs> 